Hey you right guys, Trish Munches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 9 of Pretty Little Lies Season 4. Um, I'm watching this a day earlier than when it's meant to be uploaded so I literally watched episode 8 yesterday. Um, and it was a good episode, I don't think it was anything amazing but it was definitely better than some of the rest that have happened in Season 4 so far. Um, and yeah, we'll just kind of see how these stories kind of plod along. I do think it was quite a huge thing that Mona um, com well confessed to her killing the detective even though she I don't think she has um so that'll hopefully spice it up a little bit but yeah I did enjoy the last episode I think it was a lot stronger than like I say some of the rest that we've had um some people seem to think that I'm not enjoying the show like enjoying react by the I keep getting the argument in the comment that's like uh if you don't enjoy the show why are you reacting to it I love the show if I don't enjoy watching a show I don't react to it I've done that plenty of times whereas there's been a show like Orange is the New Black for example I wasn't enjoying that at all. I didn't enjoy reacting to it, so I stopped reacting to it. If I wasn't enjoying watching Pretty, even though there's bad episodes here, um, season four, I still enjoy watching them. If that makes sense, um, like I'm never like, oh, I hate, I hate this show so much now because of this one bad episode, and I don't. Some people can't seem to wrap their head around that a show you can enjoy a show and still point out the flaws with it. <laughs> um, I think that just goes way over some people's head. So, yeah, we'll see what happens in episode 9, though, but be certain that I, I still enjoy watching and reacting to the show. And if I didn't, I'd tell you that I didn't, don't worry. And, yeah, anyway, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you are new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full uncut reaction to this episode, as well as all the rest of Parade All Lies, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. Helps support the channel as well. And there will also be links to Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me on there, and Discord if you want to join that and talk about uh, Parade All Lies with myself and others. But yeah, for now my friends, let's do this. He left me with no choice. I had to kill him. For acting from acting. Why confess now? I can't let my best friend Mark go down for a murder she didn't commit. <laughs> that was very strange. Oh, that was good. I did well there. I should become an actress. <laughs> like what? No, um, anyway, I'm gonna get some pizza. <laughs> Well, damn. And some evidence will come out because A will plant some in the... Oh my god, A will do some shit. Just looking at some abs. Mmm. Mmm, Aria, you little perv. <gasps> Don't blame you. Oh yeah, let's go jogging in my pajamas. Oh my god, this story. <laughs> I guess to be fair, that's kind of cute. Like, I'll put my biased thoughts and opinions to one side, I guess. Like, if Caleb did that for Hannah, I'd be like, oh my god, that's so cute, so I can't really, uh... You know what I mean? Oh, you're gonna watch The Shining? Oh, yeah, this was it! Everyone just chose this cut! And you're it! Oh my god! If this ain't a brew for an awkward encounter, I don't know what it is. My pleasure, my dick's all you. I mean, I'm more yours anytime you want. It's cool. Oh, an awkward hog. Oh, grab his skin. As in America, Washington? Yeah, they do do that. <laughs> You'd be surprised, Ashley.
Oh wait, sorry, I misread that. You're staying in prison. Uh, Five dollars to ten dollars. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let me just cough up a mill. Are you mad? I ain't having it. I'd just be like, sorry, Mum, you can just sit in prison and wait it out. Why would you pay a mill to chill at home for a bit? Five minutes. Yeah, yeah, I could tell that. You already told them who was boss there, didn't you, sir? Oh, Caleb's gonna sell his car for it. Oh my god. Good thing I'm rich. Yeah, that's really nice of you. Oh my god. How did you two have love, like love in your life together? What the fuck? Um, she's adorable. How did you get out? I would actually rather sit in prison and keep my money than sitting home doing nothing. Should we call Dad and thank him? Absolutely. You didn't get a text too long ago, did you? Yeah, tears for the amount of people I've killed. I have ten. Yeah, just as soon as my shoulder healed. Oh, you didn't tell him this? Oh my god. You can still help me, right? After losing that much time, I can't promise that you'll be ready for next year's scholarships. What do you think the odds are? But there's odds, I guess. Yeah, why didn't Paige mention that at all? Alright, where you been with your bag of shit? Wait, wait, what happened to Paige and Caleb? when they met up in the calf and it was like they were going to start working together but they never had a scene together after can you help me prevent Peggy from moving to Seattle possibly but it'll be a battle one that will take time and money and be an emotional strain on you and Maggie <laughs> for it all Fair play to you, Ezra. Fair play. No, no, they're not here yet, but I'll text you when they show up, okay? Oh, and give your mom a welcome home update. All right, hi, hi, hi. We're Spencer. Um, We're Spencer. <laughs> I'll be like, don't breathe on me, please. Help me get everybody hidden. And we'll well, don't embarrass yourself, please, please. Don't, don't, don't drink any alcohol, please. You might throw yourself to the ground and make an embarrassment of yourself. Oh no! Hey, birthday girl. Everything okay? Why did you? No! Oh fuck! Oh, I thought she was gonna go in on Paige. Fuck, that was close. That was close. I was gonna have a cringe attack.
She was in there for like two days. Can we all calm down, please? <laughs> you can't see anything. Does it matter? <laughs> That's a joke, don't worry. Who's this, by the way? You don't know anything, Ori. Just go and ask. Oh, next joke. You saw his abs and now suddenly you're like, I like him now, shit. I don't think it'd be matter, really. Yeah, it would matter, you stupid. I actually got a hopes up. What do you think's gonna happen if I don't go to Stanford with you? Oh, okay. See how the world is in a way. We're not gonna be together next year. Oh my god, Emily! That's the most brutal thing she's ever done. Yo. They need to prove Hannah before they can arrest me. When I call the confession, why did you do that? Oh, according to Ashley, they don't, so. Jake. Jake, the piece of cake. <laughs> Barbarella over there. Where's that blonde bitch? Um. Uh... Yeah. My sister. She's my auntie. So you you don't want me to go to the party with you, but you don't want me to go with anyone else. Okay, it's not. <laughs> me, but after five minutes. <laughs> So boring this story is. It's the same. Thing. Oh, best, okay. Yeah, because there'll definitely be enough for everyone. The cake's like that small. It must have been the deadest part of all time if everyone actually flopped that quickly to cake. Jesus. Oh! Can you two just get together now? Like, I'm not. I'm not like the biggest shipper. Of it. I'm just like it's fine, but it's like it is adorable. Page. That's uh, just really good acting there. Wait, what? What? What made her scream Spencer? Oh, because of this, she's got the same jacket as her. Oh, she looks buzzing to be dead, though. She's proper smiling, like the Joker. Does no one know basic CPR? Like, come on, like, she's, like, drowned. No one's, like, you know, trying to call an ambulance, let them deal with it. What a... Oh, is it is actually Ted? What oh, geese? Still can't believe you were the one who saved Jenna Marshall. You don't know anyone did for sure. Oh no, I should just let her drown and die. She had a gash on the back of her head, Paige. She could have fallen in, get her head out of the rock. If someone wanted to make sure we didn't find out what she had. Yeah, because of all the rocks in that lake that. I... Well, don't matter. I'm horrified by the logic sometimes. 
I thought you had to be on Purdy, mate. What are you doing? <sighs> yeah, you definitely pick Ari over whatever her name was. Kitten. Like, I'll give that season four. Ori is ten times better than she was last season. Way better. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. 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 Oh, a bit of review. Solid 8.3, that's what I'd say. I like these two. I hope they last longer than one episode, however. <laughs> Give me at least... Five. There's been a lot of pace this episode, my lord. Can we just find CC, please? Everyone's saying CC, CC, CC. Everyone says CC has all the answers, but then I'm like, uh, not really gonna go, not really gonna follow through with that one at all. We'll follow through on conspicuous masks that look like Toby Cabanal and Lucas, but we won't follow on the when everyone says CC is the problem. Oh my god, we're back here. Just find CC, please, man. I know they are trying to, but they're not trying hard enough if they do with other stuff. She's buzzing. Her hair looks red there. So are you grumbling you listen to this? I just what? Any time. Oh yeah, crack. It's just the fact A could play this without gloves on because they're by themselves, but they're just not gonna. There we go, guys. That is episode nine of Fredo Lies season four. Um, yeah, I like that episode. <laughs> I did like that episode. I think it was, again, it's kind of the same ballpark as episode eight was, where it wasn't anything spectacular, but it was entertaining enough to not be a boring episode or anything like that. So, yeah, I'll give it that one. It was fine. Um, shall we start with what I did like? Uh, Spencer and Aria, I, I love it when they, they don't team up that much but I don't know I'd say out of all the four girls those two have now I would say they have the most chemistry in forms of the best friendship like I didn't used to think that but I would say that now um they're just always with each other at this point so it's cool so Spencer and Aria teaming up uh, although I didn't care much for what they were going after which was Jenna again like it's this is the problem, it's like a few episodes ago, oh, we'll follow Melissa around, now we'll follow Jenna around, and it's the same characters we've been following for four seasons. All right, we get it. <laughs> They're all shady, but it's like, oh my god. And really, we didn't learn anything, just at the end, Jenna got hit in the head, and she's in danger. But she's been saying that for... ever. Forever. Literally, she's just been like, someone wants to kill me. Like, she's been saying that for so long. Um, and then they literally said, oh, CC's the problem, but they won't go and find CC, but whatever. Uh, so Spencer and Aria, I like those two together, but I did not care at all for what they were actually doing, which was following Jenna around. Um, Ezra, even though he was only in it a little bit, he had like two, maybe three scenes. Um, I like that they're going to give him a little story with... I don't know, just to get custody of Malcolm, or to like make sure he doesn't move away to Washington. Um, I think it's interesting they're doing that the same way they gave Toby his own story. However, it's kind of... 
I'm kind of worried about it that it could be very, very boring. Like, I'll say for now it's a good idea, but at the same time, this could be a very not not such oh such a dangerous arc to go down. It's just it's just worrying that it's going to be a, another arc to add on that I don't care about. At the moment, I do. I think it's interesting, um, and I like the idea that he wants to actually, you know. He's not just going to let Malcolm go, he's actually going to fight for his son, which I like. Uh, but I just hope there's more to it than that. I hope more comes about it. So I'll hold off on that for now, but for now I'll say it was a, a, it's a good idea. We'll just see how they kind of go about it, because it could be very boring. Because <laughs> um, like I said, I don't give a shit about Malcolm, really. I don't care about Maggie. But Ezra's been okay this season so far, so at least he's had eight episodes this season for me to be like, okay, he's okay now. Same with Aria, she's had eight episodes, she's fantastic now, so it's like when those two are together because it was the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, at least it's something a little bit different, so we'll see what happens on that one. Um, Emily, oh yeah, the the scene where Emily basically told Paige, like, we're not going to be together like next year, we're just not going to be together. That was brutal. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't like that scene because I was like, oh, finally, she's just savaged Paige out, even though that was kind of funny. Um, but I think the acting in that scene was actually okay. Um, Paige genuinely seemed like hurt by that. You would be, you would be devastated. Um, but Paige's logic to try and push Emily onto this like swimming thing, uh, and Emily called her out on it saying, you want this more than I do kind of thing, just cause you want to be with me. Kind of selfish, but at the same time, I think it was kind of, like I said, I'll put my bias aside that I don't like Paige and Emily because I don't ship them at all. Uh, but I have to look at it like if that was Caleb doing it for Hannah or Toby doing it for Spencer, I'd think it would be adorable. So I think it was kind of nice, as well, even though she had her own selfish way for it, that Paige was actually trying to um, help with something that Emily loves. Loves like It's the only really thing that Emily loves, like her hobby, and they're focused on it since season one. Um, she's the only one out of all four of them that has this like hobby that's surpassed all seasons. Um... So I think it's kind of like Paige doing that was kind of cool. I didn't think Emily like going off at Paige and that scene was like justified though. Like, oh, uh, just, we're just not going to be together. I'm not going to chase this. Like the guy said he was willing to put in the time and there, it was a slim chance. But if that's what she loves and what she wants to do, surely you'd put your all into it. Like if he's saying, oh, we train five days a week, or whatever, just be like, I'll train seven. I'll train every day, I'll do more hours and all this, like, just put your all into it, and then you're good to go, like, yeah, he said it's a slim chance, but it's still a chance at the end of the day, it's not like he was there, like, no, it's not gonna happen, just leave, get out, get the fuck out, <laughs> um, so I don't think it's really justified for Emily to just go off at Paige like that, even though I don't love Paige, like, at all, but, like I said, if that was, like, the, a different relationship, I'd, you know, I'd just be nice towards it at that point, so, yeah, um, I think that was kind of cool, what was going on with... I actually liked Emily and Paige this episode. Like, not as characters, but as a story and what was going on, their scenes, they were entertaining, so that was fine. Uh, and then finally, I put Jake and Arya. I, like I say, I love Arya this season. She's been fantastic, so... Just getting better and better. I'd say she's, she's just... I wouldn't say she's, like, super interesting, like, a story, but she's just not... Whenever she's on screen in seasons one, two, and three... Maybe not season one, but two and three for sure. Um, I was just like, this is dead, it's the same thing. Kind of like how I felt with Paige. Um, felt with Emily, sorry. But now, at least, at least when she's on screen, I'm like, I'm interested in what's going on and I care about it. Even though her story's not, like, insane. It's just her, like, having a crush on Jake at the end of the day. That's all it is. But it's not too bad to watch. Uh, negatives, I spoke about how I felt with the Jenna story. Don't care. Um, also, it's like a double-edged thing with Paige where it's like, I do appreciate what she did for Emily, but at the same time, she didn't tell him that she had an injury. You would bring that up. And I know it's like, if she said that, maybe the guy would have been like, no, I don't want to see her. But you would have mentioned it. I don't know, it's just stupid logic. And Ashley's story is still going on. I'm not bored out of my mind when it's on, like with Ashley, I'm not. Like, I'm, it's interesting enough. It's just, it's still going, dude. <laughs> um... But Mo, like I said, Mona, I thought would spice up a little bit. It did. All it did really was got Ashley out of prison. That's all that happened. Um, and Ted posted bail somehow. <laughs> he just coughed up a hundred thousand because we all had that line around for someone that we barely know. Uh, 
maybe he's a secret drug lord, I don't know. But yeah, I just... Ashley and Hannah's story is the same thing. It's been for eight episodes at the end of the day, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. But yeah, overall, I think it was it was a good, enjoyable episode. It's the same same kind of half felt with last episode where it wasn't an amazing episode, but it was just it was good enough <laughs> compared to the last ones from season four. I gave episode eight a seven point six. Did I prefer this one? I'd say I prefer the last one just a tiny bit better, so I'll give this one a seven point five out of ten. Just just you know. Just a really solid five hours. Not as good as episode eight, but uh, yeah, still, still an enjoyable episode. I'll go 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching, though, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Everything I mentioned at the start will be in the pinned comments, so make sure to check any of that stuff out if it interests you. And yeah, I'll see you next time for episode 10. Until then, peace.